वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश थर्टी फाइव सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द वेरिएशन इन डेप डी ऑफ ए कंटिलीवर्ड बीम दैट सपोर्ट अ कंसनट्रेटेड फोर्स एट इट्स एंड सो दैट इट हैज़ अ कॉन्स्टेंट मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस थ्रू आउट इट्स लेंथ द बीम हैज़ अ कॉन्स्टेंट वेट बी नॉट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द कंटिलीवर बीम दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई कंसनट्रेटेड लोड पी एट द एंड द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ दिस बीम इज शोन दिस विट इज बी नॉट वाइल हाइट चेंजेस एट एवरी सेक्शन clear so you have to find this depth d the variation of depth d in this cantilever beam for condition is that maximum bending stress throughout its length is constant so let's start with the solution so as we know that uh, allowable allowable bending stress is equal to moment divided by section modulus so we do not have moment so what we will do is that we will cut the beam at a distance of x so if i draw the free body diagram so this moment this beam will be like this okay so at this point you have a load of p and here you have a load of p this distance is x and when you cut the beam definitely you will have a shear force and a reaction moment as well clear because uh, you can see that this force will produce movement like this so reaction moment should be opposite to that and that this movement will be this one let this is your point 1 so sum of all movement about point 1 is equal to 0 so about point 1 the one movement is due to p into perpendicular distance is x that is clockwise so it will be negative so minus p into x plus this external movement is equal to 0 so we have moment is equal to p into x now we have a moment we will find section modulus so section modulus s is equal to i divided by c i is the second moment of inertia and c is distance from neutral axis to the top most so from here you can see i i for this cross section is equal to 1 over 12 the width is b not and you have as you have cut the beam over here so this height will be d so that will be d not uh, sorry dq dq and what will be the cc's distance from neutral axis till the top so total height is at this point is d clear so this will be equal to c is equal to d divided by 2 c is equal to d divided by 2 now you could you can put it in this formula so allowable stress is equal to moment which is p into x divided by section modulus which is i divided by c so p into x and i is equal to 1 over 12 b not into d cube divided by c is d over 2 this is allowable stress bending stress so when you calculate it you will get allowable bending stress is equal to 6 p into x divided by b not d square i hope you can simplify this upper equation in order to get this now this is the bending stress for x for l uh, for uh, for x now what we will do is that uh, this is the general equation so if uh, at if you are interested to find out throughout the length so when at x is equal to l x variates from this point clear so at x is equal to l we have this height this d as d changes d varies at every point so at x is equal to l we have d is equal to h so we will put it here so you can put let this is your equation number 1 clear so put at x is equal to l d h in equation 1 when you put it you will get allowable stress at x is equal to l will be equal to 
six p instant of x we have l divided by divided by b naught into in d will replace with h so h square so we will have this equation which is let this equation is equation number two now in in, in here we have a condition that sigma uh, l uh, sigma allowable throughout its length is constant so what we will do is that uh, as sigma allowable is constant throughout its length so it means that equation one is equal to equation number two equation one is six p x divided by b naught d square is equal to six p l over b naught h square p p will cancel b naught b naught will cancel so we will left we are interested to find out this d so d square is equal to 6 h square over l and we will have this h x as well okay so when you take the square root on both side so you will get d is equal to uh, square root 6h square x over l okay okay one more thing is that this 6 will also cut with this so we will not have 6 over here okay now you can see this is the equation so d will become equal to h square will be outside because the square root and we will left d is equal to h into x by l so this is the variation of height of beam that is equal to h into under root x by l and again this was all about problem 11-35 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and also tell me about your feedbacks related to the video thank you for watching